prepared. That is the goal of an intensive training program going on in Noxabee County. Deputies, correctional officers, and dispatchers have completed a two-week training class just in time for the opening of the new county jail. WCBI's Jory Talley went to Noxabee County. She joins us in the studio now with this new at six report. Jory. Andrea, it takes a certain type of person to work as a jailer. That's why Noxabee County Sheriff Terry Grassery says training is everything. These 13 people received their certifications at the graduation ceremony. And we're glad to have all of them. We got top notch people, new jail coming in, we want to have the best that we can get. More than 100 people applied to work at the new jail, but only five were chosen, along with workers from the old jail. Newly trained CEO Kenesha Moore is planning to use the things she learned when she starts at the new jail. Everyone should be certified working with, you know, inmates, and because it's a lot we have to do working with inmates, and a lot you have to know to work with inmates. Randy Patrick's job is to make sure the jailers are prepared. With the liability issues and everything that's going on at this day and time, uh, officers need to be trained in every bit of the aspect of the use of force continuum. And so and that's what we do at, at TCTI. We train our people. We train survivors. Even though some workers were already certified, the new jail brings new guidelines. That means recertification. The first training, we learn more about uh, keeping things out of the jail and taking care of the inmates. But in this class, we learn how to take care of the inmates. We learn how to keep things out of the jail. We also learn what we need to keep in the jail. And we also learn how to defend ourselves. Hands clapping and camera flashing is the final scene of the course as graduates receive their certifications. In Noxubee County, Jory Talley, WCBI News. The new Noxubee County Jail officially opened.